Hello, this is Carolyn from Carolyn's Cakes and today I'm going to show you how I've made this Cinderella cake. These are the supplies you're going to need to create the Cinderella doll cake. You'll need some fondant, a ruler, a spatula, a carving knife, a cutting edge, or you could also known as like a pizza cutter, some wooden dowels, a fondant tool, paintbrush, crafter's brush, a little bit of water, an 8 inch round cake pan, a Wilton doll forming cake pan, a fondant smoother, and your fondant rolling pins, and also some fro uh, icing sugar used for the surface so your fondant won't stick. What you will need is a cake baked in your Wilton doll cake pan and you will need an 8 inch round cake. And what you will do first of all is place your 8 inch round pan, uh, cake on your board, get your spatula and some buttercream or whatever icing you choose to use. I'm going to evenly spread the buttercream on the 8 inch round cake. Then I'm going to take the cake I baked, place it on top. I left a little room in front of the board here so that I can put the birthday girl's name here instead of writing it on the dress. My next step is I'm going to shave off the excess cake so that the cake lines up evenly with the 8 inch cake underneath. Take some more buttercream Now that your cake is covered in icing, I like to chill my cake just for 10 minutes or so, just to get the icing a little firm. As the cake is chilling, I got the Cinderella doll and I took her dress off and I'm going to wrap her in some saran so that she will be usable for the cake. I just do this to protect the doll protect and the food. And then she's ready for the cake. I put icing sugar down before I start rolling my fondant. This prevents it from sticking on my surface. Roll your fondant out. The fondant needs to be larger than the cake itself. So that it sits right to the bottom of the cake. Now I'm going to get my doll dress out of the fridge. Now before I put the doll in and drape the fondant on top, I'm going to cut a hole inside the top of the cake so that the doll will fit nicely inside. Now I'm going to lift my fondant and drape it on top of my doll dress. Make sure that it drapes and that there's room that it sits on the board. That way you don't get any wrinkles in the bottom.
and just work the fondant up and under. Push on the board and bring the dress up. That way it won't have rips and it won't tear on you. When it looks all gathered, do the same thing. That's why it's nice to have the fondant a little larger than the piece you're working on so that you can push it to the board and bring it up. I have this, this is my smoother, my fondant smoother, which is a really good tool when you're working with fondant. And do the same thing. Push it to the base and work up. And it should all go nice and smooth. Don't let those wrinkles discourage you. Just be patient and work it in. Work it in. There we go. And you can smooth it with your fondant smoother. I just go around the cake so it's nice and smooth. Make sure it adheres to the buttercream that's underneath. Now that it's all on there, I'm going to take my cutting tool and cut the excess fondant off the dress. Now that I have my fondant on my doll dress, I'm going to cut a hole in through the fondant so that the doll will sit inside. And I just push the fondant around inside so then the doll will sit nice and snug. Now, before I put Cinderella inside the doll dress, I taken a little piece of fondant because I want to make the top of her dress. Put a little bit of powdered sugar down so my fondant won't stick. Trim a straight line. Wrap it around the doll. Gently push the fondant together and it should stick together. Now before I put her inside, I want to put a little bit of glitter. I have um, disco dust that I will sprinkle on top and I I wet with water and a clean paintbrush the top of the dress. Just put a little bit of water so that the glitter is gonna stick to it. And then I just sprinkle a little bit over top. And this is non-toxic. 
which works really nice. So line up my dress in front of me so I can make sure that she's going to sit nicely inside. And just push her down inside. A little force. Squeeze the fond in a little bit around her so that it goes closer to her body. Probably a good idea too if you just wet a little bit so that the fondant will stick to the other fondant and make a nice little seal here. too. Now I have added the sleeve part the, on her shoulder and I'm going to show you how I did it on the other side. So I rolled some white fondant kind of a rectangular piece put a little bit of water on it to the dress. Push it onto the shoulder and onto the arm and go underneath the arm. Also, I made the little skirt puff that's right at her waist and I'm going to make one for this side. So I take my white fondant Roll it until it's smooth again. Big enough so we can gather it. And using my the same technique is that I'm going to use for the bottom of the draping of the dress. And what I do is I use some wooden dowels as my draping. the dowels out cut some smooth edges and gather it together all the way up to almost a circle so it will tuck in at her waist just squeeze the fondant together cut any excess off push it down a little bit to form it Line it up, see if this is where you want it. And it looks even. I just always like to make it look nice and sharp edges, so I'm gonna just cut off a little piece here. So it gives it a nice, sharp, clean cut. And also, I'm gonna use my, my fondant tool put some creases into the fondant so it looks like it's gathered at her waist and just squeeze the fondant together and then what I do I put a little bit of water again on the back of my fondant and place it where I want it to go onto the dress. 
and uh, what I want to do is drape them at the bottom so they're kind of touching the base of the cake board. So to make them evenly around the dress, I'm going to measure, get a ruler, and measure a certain distance. In this case, this is two inches from the cake board so that each draping scallop I have I will stick on in that distance. Put some water. Now that I have the swags on her dress and I've made the bows up, I'm going to attach the bows to the swags of the dress. I use a little bit of water onto the fondant, place the bows in place, a little bit of water. Press gently until they stick onto the fondant. For the back of her dress, I would like to put a nice big bow. I put water on my ribbon. Set it up, turn my bow around. Because the bow is larger, you have to put water on the round edges as well, so it sticks nicely. It won't be too heavy. Cinderella. Take my disco dust again and just sprinkle gently over top of her dress. All on the bows. 